Hello everybody, this is Ben from BenLCollins.com and tonight I'm going to show you how to do VLOOKUPs with wildcard matches for partial names. Now this was a request from a reader who wrote in and asked whether you could do a um, VLOOKUP with a partial name and how you would do that using wildcard characters. So I'll show you this tonight, it's going to be quite short. So let's dive right in. Uh, you can see here I have a table of data with some last names, some first names, some ages, and then emails. So maybe this is a, a database of my uh, the employees of the company that I work at, or customers, or so on and so forth. And over here I have a partial name. Now somebody's given me this these three letters here, M Y E, and said, "Hey, can you find someone with their with the surname My in the database M Y E?" Now obviously you could just go and visually look, but I want you to imagine that uh, <clears throat> we have, you know, a thousand or a hundred thousand records, and obviously it's not it's not practical to go and look. Uh, and besides, once you set up the VLOOKUP, you can pull back and retrieve um, all that information in one go, rather than having to keep going back and look at it again. So it's a really useful technique. So it's very easy. It's it's basically the same as a regular VLOOKUP, but we use a the asterisk character as our wildcard match to find that partial string. So we start with V lookup as per usual, open the parentheses, uh, then we're going to go and search for this one in G2, MYE, and then this is where we add the an ampersand, quote marks, the asterisk, close the quote marks, and that's our wildcard there. So it searches for MYE, and then any other string, any other characters that follow on from MYE will be uh, will be allowed. So we go and find our lookup table. We're going to start looking up in the first column there, column A. I'll highlight the whole table. I'll just hit F4 to put the dollar signs around to lock those references to be absolute references. And then I'm going to return uh, the first name from column 2. So hit 2. And then we want false because it's an exact match on the MYE that we're using the, the, the wildcard with. Close my parentheses and hit enter. And there we go, it's found James. So that looks promising, it's a good start. So uh, I just want to also lock my search criteria to G2. So I'm just gonna jump up here and put in that uh, dollar there to lock that to that second row. Hit enter again. So now I'm gonna fill all of these in. And then I can just start changing the um, the column number. So this one I want to return the last name, so I'm going to look in the last name and if I find this match I'm also going to return that match, so I'll hit 1. And there you can see how it's returning MYE, RS and Myers. This one I'm going to return the age from column 3 and finally this one I'm going to return the email address from column 4. And there we go, so it's gone and looked for MYE, comes and looks in column A, goes all the way down to the, here, here we go in row 19 and returns the values when it finds Myers there which is an MYE and an RS where the RS is captured by that star by that wildcard. Now we can extend that and put wildcards in front of and after our partial match so let's have a look at that one in the second example here. So again I'm going to go and search for this LLIV somewhere in my surname column in um, my last name column A. So VLOOKUP as per usual. Uh, then I'm going to start this time by looking for a star which means I'm going to start with it can be any character to start with but in the middle of that uh, string in the middle of the last name must be LLIV. Now it could be at the start, it could be at the end but it needs to be somewhere in there. Uh, it doesn't matter what the characters are at the start or the end. Put another star at the end to say anything can come after it. Uh, and then again I'm going to search for that inside of my table here, lock those references, uh, I'm going to return 2 which is the first name, hit false and enter and there we go it's found the name Ben matching there so let's just lock that G13 to row 13 so that we always get a return value. Uh, let's change now, let's just go and change these to a one there, hit enter, so Sullivan, so you can see there's the LLIV that we searched for and it had an SU at the start and a VAN at the end, so it's picked up Sullivan and it's matched on that, so 
we can tell it's working. So three was the age, and then four was the email. So very easy. So there we go, folks. That's a quick introduction to using wildcards in your VLOOKUPs.